Hi guys, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video, I'm going to go over a couple of uh, items related to reporting and home manage. One of those is, um, you know that zebra pattern you often see in uh, highly detailed text-heavy reports like uh, financial reports, uh, uh, spreadsheet type reports? Um, you'll see one line with a white background and sec every, every other line will be like a light blue perhaps or light yellow or light gray color. So we're going to show you how to do that in Home Manage. It's called a zebra pattern usually. So you're going to select reporting, edit report from the main menu and we're going to take an existing report asset list. Now when you take an existing report in the program it's always a good idea if you're going to change it to save it under a different name. So we're going to save it as Asset list zebra, and we can change the description here as well. And click save. Now, how do we do the zebra pattern? First of all, you got to click on this what's called a report container in the program, and on the lower left window here, it's called the properties window. And if you scroll down near the bottom, you'll see a line options, data lines. And what you can do here is you've got a zebra pattern section. Right now it's set to transparent. And that means no zebra pattern, basically. So to change that, we're going to expand here and change it to pattern block color. And once you've done that, every second line is going to show up in this what's called white smoke color, which is kind of like a very light gray. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Save the report and to output the report. I'm going to select output report using all data. Preview. Now we zoom in. We can see every second line is the grayish, light gray color we selected. Now let's say we wanted a different color than the default. What you can do is edit the report again. Click on the zebra pattern go down to the zebra pattern section after clicking on the report container and well here we get a little drop down now in this drop down we can select a different color and let's go ahead and select something like lemon chiffon and hopefully that'll look good save the report again yes I'll put the report And you can, as you can see, every other line is that newly selected color. So now let's, uh, I had a customer ask, recently ask, uh, how do you change the fonts in a report? And the way to do that, you can edit the same report. And now we're going to double click on this report container. And we've got some tabs up here. Now the header line corresponds to the first line that column headers you see along the top here. It's just describing what the, what the text should be in each column header. The data line sh is going to describe what shows up in each column of data that's output. And we want to change the asset data line. Let's um, let's change it so asset number is more pronounced. Um, and once we click on asset number, we can see what font is being used. And we want to change it. Let's change it to another font, which is uh, I I've always liked called for Dana. And we'll make it bold and make it a little bit bigger, size 9. Now, what we can also do here is change the color. So let's make it a loud blue color. Hit OK. OK again. Save the report. Now when we output this report, you're going to see Each uh, asset number data column now shows up in the bold blue for Dana font as uh, specified. Um, a third item, let's talk about filters. And a filter is basically a way to filter what data is shown in the report output. So you can see here, we've got some items here around $200, $900. Let's make, a, make it so the report only shows assets with a cost of over $250 and does not show the ones under that amount. Let's edit the same report. And what we're going to do here now is click on project and then filter. And in the filter section, we're going to specify using uh, the fields available. If you want to see what fields are available, you can see here under asset, there's all sorts of different fields. We're going to take asset 
total cost and enter a condition that it has to be more than or equal to $250. Click OK. Save the report again. Click Yes. And now when we output As you can see here in the cost column, you now only see items with a cost of 250 or more dollars. So, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.